Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a high protein, fiber and nutrient rich instant breakfast recipe ideal for weight loss and weight management. This healthy immune boosting gluten free and vegan breakfast recipe is perfect for those with health issues like thyroid, PCOS and diabetes. The high fiber and protein helps to keep you feel fuller for a longer time and thus helps in weight loss. This healthy recipe is a popular South Indian dish which can be enjoyed by the whole family. So let's get started with the recipe. To make high protein roti or chila into a bowl I am adding in half cup whole green moong dal. Green moong dal also known as green gram is rich in antioxidants. It helps to lower inflammation. It is a good source of protein. Into this I am adding in 3 tablespoon host gram also known as mudira in Malayalam. Host gram also known as mudira in Malayalam is one of the most protein rich lentil found on the planet. It is high in iron, calcium and zinc. In fact, host gram has the highest calcium content among pulses and hence is one of the richest vegetarian sources of protein. It is known as the super pulse of India. It helps to burn fat, protects you against kidney stones and gallbladder stones. It is also less expensive than other dals. It helps to keep you feel fuller, thus it helps in weight loss and fat burning. Into this I'm adding in some water and now I'm going to wash and rinse it a couple of times. Once rinsed add in some more water. Allow it to soak for about 20 minutes to 2 hours. For those who have noticed uh, having digestive issues when consuming dals, it would be ideal to soak it for a longer period like maybe 4 hours. Dals contains phytic acid which is a nutrient inhibitor. Phytic acid also may cause digestive issues like bloating and gas to some people. So for those who have noticed digestive issues, try to soak it for a longer period, maybe about 4 hours so that the phytates are released. Soaking anywhere between 20 minutes to 4 hours will be ideal. I'm going to soak it for about 1 hour. Now if you're planning to make this for breakfast, you can soak it overnight. Okay, it's about 1 hour and uh, the dals are nicely soaked so i'm going to wash and rinse it a couple of times okay now i have washed and rinsed it thoroughly into my small chutney grinder i'm adding in one green chili green chili you can increase or decrease as per your taste next i'm adding in a small piece of ginger i'm roughly slicing the ginger and adding in into this i'm adding in the soaked and rinsed dals add in half teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds one third teaspoon turmeric powder. Today I'm using Vigon turmeric which has high curcumin content. One third teaspoon freshly crushed black pepper. Black pepper helps in better assimilation of uh, the active ingredient in turmeric known as curcumin. So whenever you're using turmeric always make sure that you use at least a fat pinch of black pepper powder. Pink Himalayan salt as needed. And now I'm going to grind all this to a coarse paste. Okay, now it is coarsely ground. I'm going to transfer this to a bowl. I'm transferring it to a bowl and uh, note that I did not add any extra water while grinding this. You can see that it is coarsely ground. Into this I'm adding in 1 fourth cup Jawar Atta also known as Sorghum. Jawar is a highly nutritious millet and it is easily available across India. It is rich in fiber and the high fiber helps to keep you feel fuller for a longer time. Jawar helps to manage blood sugar levels, aids in good digestion. It is a good source of protein. It's a powerhouse of essential vitamins, antioxidants and minerals. Jawar is loaded with calcium, copper, zinc, phosphorus, potassium and B vitamins. Jawar is gluten free hence ideal for those with gluten intolerance. It is also a good source of iron and uh, the best thing about Jawar is that being a complex carb, Jawar gets digested slowly hence ideal for those with health issues like diabetes, PCOS and thyroid. The high phytochemical antioxidants in Jawar helps to reduce inflammation in the body. So all the ingredients in this high protein roti is highly nutritious. It not only will help to keep you feel fuller and helps in weight loss and weight management, it also will help to boost your immunity.
The other ingredients I'm adding into this are half of an onion chopped, one green chili chopped. Green chili you can increase or decrease as per your taste. A small handful of coriander leaves chopped and uh, one small carrot grated. Now instead of carrots you can use grated cucumber, grated beetroot, grated bottle gourd or even grated ridge gourd. So just play around with uh, what is available locally and seasonal. You can also use greens like palak or amaranth leaves in this recipe instead of coriander leaves. Try to use what is easily available and is in season. So into this I'm adding in the chopped onions, green chilli, coriander leaves, grated carrot. And lastly I'm adding in 1 fourth teaspoon of ajwain also known as carob seeds. Ajwain and jeera will help with digestion along with giving an amazing flavor. Before adding ajwain, crush it with your palms and then add the ajwain so that the flavors are released. And now with my hand, I'm mixing this. So as you can see, uh, the dough has become slightly dry. And now I'm adding in a couple of tablespoons of water. I'm just sprinkling in the water. that is two tablespoon and then I'm kneading it really well okay now I have kneaded it into a tight dough but the dough is of a spreadable consistency that is you can just spread it with your fingers so this is the consistency you should be looking at and that is the reason why you should add water towards the end as needed if you add water initially, the dough might become loose. Another good thing about this uh, high protein roti mix is that you can make ahead this and it will stay good in the refrigerator for up to three days. And that will make this a very healthy meal prep. So on those busy mornings, you can just take it out of the refrigerator and make instant rotis, which you can enjoy for breakfast, lunch or for dinner. So an ideal healthy recipe for those busy women, bachelors or students living in hostels. You can just plan ahead and make the dough and refrigerate. And now I'm going to show you how to roll it into rotis. Also note that since we have added jawar, it is completely gluten free. To roll the roti, I'm placing a wet cotton napkin on top of a wooden cutting board or you can use a steel plate underneath. Note that the cotton cloth should be wet. Take a handful of the dough which we had made. Simply roll it into a round ball. Since there is no gluten, it will be difficult to roll it with a rolling pin. So this is the best way to roll this into a round roti. So once it has been rolled into a round ball, place it on the wet cotton napkin. Take some water in a small katori or a bowl and just wet your fingers and press down the roti into a round shape. Press it as thinly as possible. Don't mind the uneven edges, we can shape them towards the end. So keep dipping your fingers and then spread it out as thinly as possible. And once it is spread with wet fingers, level the top so that the finger markings can be removed. Again with wet fingers, lightly shape the sides. And the roti is nicely rolled out. I am heating my cast iron tawa and I am greasing it with wood pressed gingerly oil. Gingerly oil is also known as sesame oil or till oil. Once the tawa is heated, reduce the flame to the lowest and place the napkin onto the hot tawa, roti side down. Let it stay for about 15 seconds and then carefully peel off the napkin. Drizzle in 1 teaspoon wood pressed sesame oil or you can use any locally sourced wood pressed oils like uh, groundnut oil, mustard oil, coconut oil or even A2 desi ghee. After about a minute, flip it over. Flip it over again. Lightly press down just to make sure that everything is nicely cooked. Flip it over again. 
press down so that the insides are thoroughly cooked. Flip it over again and once both sides are nicely cooked, serve to a plate. Repeat the same thing with the rest of the dough. I am making a quick raita. Into a bowl I have added in one grated carrot, half of a cucumber chopped, one green chilli finely chopped. Into this I am adding in my vegan cashew curd. I have already shared four different vegan curd recipes. Please do check it out. Cashew curd is a good source of healthy fat and gut friendly probiotics. Half teaspoon roasted jeera powder also known as cumin powder, pink Himalayan salt as needed and I am giving this a good mix. You can increase or decrease green chilli to suit your taste. I am adding in some more vegan curd and mix this really well. Now if you don't have any issues with dairy milk, you can use dairy curd instead. And my healthy vegan carrot raita is ready to serve. Serve the vegan carrot raita, homemade lemon pickle. Pickles when made in the traditional way is a good source of healthy gut friendly probiotics. And my healthy and filling high protein roti is ready to serve. So guys do try this healthy recipe and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.